Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who was wisdom, who was the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this afternoon, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, as we're seeing the uh, society devolving into chaos, we need to make sure that we understand how this is all working out for the um, restoration of our people. As you look at the news and you see the, um, <clears throat> the same tactics being deployed that they've used, are, you know, the wicked have used over and over again, you, it should be very clear what they're doing. They understand that their time is quickly coming to an end. So, you know, and many people are, might want to say that all these things are all made up. They're all scripted. Everything in this whole reality is scripted by the Most High. So just because it seems to be somewhat scripted or, you know, you think it's, it's not real, real things are happening if you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. I uh, was listening to Lisa Cabrera and, uh, and she was going off on that uh, mayor from Atlanta and uh, she couldn't have said it any better. I'll probably leave that link to that video in the description box. And she got very animated, as we all should, because they do the same things over and over, over again. It's like, let me get this, uh, here, let's just throw this black person out here and let them tell you how you need to calm down and how you need to protest and what you need to do. But then again, they don't say anything about the cops. They don't say anything about the system. They've had 500 years to fix this system. And like I said before, there are two gods here. You have the power of the most high and chosen people and you have the fake gods of these, um, these Gentiles. These fake gods and this fake society of the Gentiles will find any way to uh, release that officer that killed Floyd. They'll find any kind of technicality in their justice system to get him off. When we already know this because we've seen it for hundreds of years. It's always a, hey, we don't know exactly what happened. Hey, we need to do the investigation. Oh, I'm going to let you, so I'm supposed to be good with you guys always investigating yourselves and finding yourselves not guilty, just like the uh, scripture said you would. So that's exactly what's been going on for the last 500 years. This isn't anything new. We know how this works. You guys do something. You kill one of our people. We get upset. You guys put provocateurs out there who end up doing a lot of the damage and a lot of the burning of things. You say it's us. Then you come in heavy handed. Nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. But see, there is something new now. See, your time is ending. It's coming to an end quick. The Most High has now turned his face from us for our destruction and has now turned his face towards you and your destruction. So that's the huge difference. See, you guys still think you have the blessing. And you're going to see a tweet from um, Trump about dogs and weapons that lets you know that they still think that they have the blessing. And they're going to be, everything's going to be just like it was before. But we know, we know for sure that's not the case. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to show you how there's nothing new under the sun. The same people that came here with the dogs and their weapons to destroy us are still here today. And not only are they still here, they still think the same tactics that they used when they stepped foot in our land are going to continue, you know, for their benefit going forward. We're here to let you know that that's not the case. The Most High is going to raise up and he's going to fight for his people. So you guys might think that, uh, you know, doing the same things you guys have always done and the people who are aligned with you, you know, the people that look like us, like I said, just because, you know, you're our kinfolk, you know, 
twin folk ain't our kin folk. People who look like us don't necessarily aren't necessarily our people. And you can see how they're, you know, they keep on running these black people out here. So even to think that's going to calm us down, you're, you're Revlin Air, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and these other people are going to be ran out here. And they're going to, you know, I, I could be a lady going off on the, the protesters, but has nothing to say about the police. You have nothing to say about hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of years of our people getting, you know, beat down, killed. I mean, if you can kill a brother like that in the middle of the day on video and they're still looking for technicalities, like they're saying like, oh, well, you know, we did the autopsy and we're not sure if, if strangulation is how he died. You see what I'm saying? That's what happens when you guys get to investigate yourselves. You go, you know, go ahead and look for all these technicalities as always. We don't get the benefit of the doubt, but people who work for you get the benefit of the doubt all the time. But that's okay because, like I said, we have two gods here. See, our power would have already dealt with this man, this cop. You kill by the sword. You must be killed by the sword. You kill people, you're going to be killed. Real simple. If you murder, you're going to be killed. Real simple. See, that's how the Most High's laws are set up. If you do, you have a certain action, here's the reaction. You guys have laws. Well, if it's our people, you have no problem killing us and putting us down, even if we didn't even do the crime. But if it's, you know, the wicked and the ones that are lined, oh, well, hold on, hold on. We can't, you know, execute justice this fast. Let, we need to go back and we need to... um you know, make sure that we have all the video from all the different angles. We need to know what happened before. We need to, you, you see how it works. So we had two systems that are present at the same time. They have ignored the true Most High's system. And like he said, he's punished us as we gone. You know, we've been punished. When we mess up, we've been punished. See you Gentiles. And the ones that are aligned with you, you've never, you have not been punished. So that's why you ignore our power. That's okay, though, because like I said, he's coming for you. And he's exposing you. So the ones, it's not only just the wicked, it's also the ones that are aligned with the wicked. You're not going to be able to say, oh, I was just following orders. This is what they told me to do. If you don't have a conscience... And you don't think things are, you know, you think things are okay because you want to worry about your pension. You're not going to get a pension. If you haven't figured it out yet, there is no future here. There is no retirement. There is no future. And people are saying, well, coronavirus is fake. It's all fake. Well, you know what's not fake? Your economy is destroyed. Your retirements are destroyed. Life as you know it is over but you're still fighting to continue with the same old, same old. Like I said, whenever you're saying, I want to get back to normal, you're saying, I want the most highest chosen people back at the bottom so we can kill them, do whatever we want, and then we can just look for technicalities in order for um, other cops and anybody else to get off. The whole system is set up against us. You got, you know, you got the cops will do their thing, kill us. You'll got, you get the justice system that'll get them off. If they even go to jail, they'll get special treatment in jail. They'll go to arbitration after they kill us, after everything dies down and get their jobs back, or they'll go to another city and get their jobs back. But then everyone will raise them up as if they're some kinds of heroes. There's, there's going to be, a, you know, there's going to be payment for everybody and how all of you act. The Most High is showing you right now, and he's showing us the hearts of these people and they haven't changed. I was getting these uh, notes ready yesterday or last night for uh, most. I put it on me to do a video about the dogs and some of the stuff that's going on with these dogs. And in this morning, we get a tweet from the president that went, goes exactly with what I was already uh, being used to uh, start to get together. So we just bring it all together full circle. This is a picture that's going to make white people say, these cops have gone too far. See, the wicked love their dogs because these dogs have given them our lands. They were used to destroy our people. They care more about their dogs than our people. 
they will definitely um like like Mike Vick. Mike Vick got more time than most of these cops do for you know killing dogs and fighting with dogs than killing actual people. There was no there was no you know technicalities for Mike Vick. But if a, if these guys kill one of our people, these cops kill one of our people, they look for every technicality and they get off. Just like this guy's the before, the one that killed, you know, Floyd, I said he was he had how many complaints against him? I, I was 16 to 18 complaints. And he was still out there working because he was doing what they want them to do. He wa- they want them to kill our people. They want them to inflict, put fear in our people and destroy our people. That's what that's what that's what they're out there for. And they'll look for any technicality to get them off. So after I was already gotten these some of these notes together, then I heard this this morning when I was listening to my family to some of these uh, tweets that popped up on the news. I'm like, that's just the most high right there. He just made him say things that would just go ahead and, and fit perfectly in this video right now. There's Trump right here. Got too frisky or out of line. They would quickly come down on them hard. Didn't uh, know what hit them. You know, they're talking about, he's talking about the Secret Service coming out on these protesters, okay? The front line was replaced with fresh agents. You got your fresh soldiers right there, right? Like magic. Big crowd, professionally organized, but nobody came close to breaching the fence. And he's acting like these people were trying to, sit, to take over the White House, which they weren't. And it's, and it's, it's always... It's the same things. It's professionally organized. It's the left. It's Black Lives Matter. He even said it's something with Antifa. I don't even know what Antifa is. But they're sitting there, it's always the same things. It's never the fact that they killed one of our people again, and there's not going to be any justice. It's never that. They never talk about the underlying issues. They always ignore the underlying issues. Just like we talk about the 80 books, they always ignore our claims. They always ignore what we say. Nothing different. Okay, now check this part out. If if they had, they would have been greeted with the most vicious dogs and most ominous weapons. Now see, that's exactly, that goes all the way back to when the Most High brought Columbus over here and they, he blessed them with their sword to the Americas right here. And he blessed them with these dogs to take us down. Absolutely nothing has changed. So you've seen the people who are destroyed, the natives, when they got here, they're still here. You still got the people who are aligned with them, too, because they think they're going to get something out of it by aligning themselves with these people. Yeah, you're going to you're going to get the same ass whooping that they're about to get. That's what that's what you, you know, aligning with them is going to get you. So I hope you enjoyed all the perks of this society. Because there's no more perks coming. So, again. If they, uh, if they had, they would have been greeted with the most vicious dogs and most ominous weapons. That's Jeremiah 9. We're going to get into that a little bit again. I made a video on that. I'll probably put the link in the description box. What they were going to do to the Northern Kingdom. And see, they think they're going to do that again. They think they're going to replay history. That they're going to put us down with their ominous weapons and their vicious dogs. Like they did the first time. So that's why they hide all that history. Because they think that, hey, we're, we, we have all the weapons. We have these dogs. I said, we're, we're, nothing can touch us. I said, all that that you guys got before was a blessing from the Most High because of what he did, because of us falling out. Well, now the Most High has awakened us and brought us back into the, uh, the fold with the Father. And he's not about to let that happen again. This is funny how, you know, they talk real tough when they got their blessings. And they think that, you know, people, this is nothing new. It says, I, let me read that again. I have, uh, if they had, they would have uh, been greeted with the most vicious dogs and most ominous weapons I have ever seen. That's when people would have been really badly hurt, at least. Many Secret Service agents just waiting for action. Or they're just waiting to put in work, just waiting to kill our people, right? That's what you're trying to say? We put the young ones on the front line, sir. <laughs> they love it. And good practice. So they get, they love being in front, getting ready to kill our people, right? As you saw last night, they were very cool and very professional. Never let it get out of hand. Thank you. On the bad side, well, I'm not going to talk about that part. Okay. 
So he's talking about he got these troops ready, got the young ones out front. They're ready to go to work. They got their uh, these you know ominous weapons and vicious dogs waiting for you. That is no different than when Columbus and the Spaniards got here and took over our lands. And see, uh, oh, another big thing is this. You know, as you sit here and hear them talking about black people, black people, you know, African Americans, they keep talking about that. They keep bringing that up. See, they keep bringing that up because they're trying to make it seem as if we are the foreigners. Black people, we don't have an, you know, we don't have a history. They're just blacks. That's it. Or African Americans. They came from Africa. They're the foreigners who have come over here to the, we were brought over here to these lands. And we're the ones that have been here the whole time. You get their dog whistle, you know, comments and things like that. When in fact, it's the opposite. These are our lands. They're the foreigners. And go back to Joel 2, and you're going to see how the Most High is about to move these foreigners off of our lands. But they want to, you know, set up the narrative as if they're the ones that have been here. Us black people who don't have a history were brought over from Africa. Same thing. Nothing new under the sun. That's why they've always been changing our names, changing who we are. I'm not an African American. We're the, we are the indigenous people of these lands. And the Most High is about to raise up his people and raise, and cleanse his lands, just like he said he is, just like he said he was. And these people still think that they have the blessing. And that's what you just saw right here in these tweets, that they still think that they have the blessings and that they're going to be able to use dogs and these weapons on us again. Nothing new. And it, of course, he keeps saying all these tweets and putting all these tweets out and putting all this information. And he says, oh, I don't know where this stuff comes from. I don't know where these things come from. Well, that was when they were, had their blessing. They could still use these dogs and their weapons on us. And that's what, and that's what they still think is going to happen going forward. But we know, like I said, things are just repeating. That's what people are, also, are very upset about. The Most High put a spirit on all these people all over the country. You got you to put it all together. You still got COVID going on. You got no jobs. You got 40 plus million people with no jobs. Um, you know, COVID-19. People who've been stuck in their houses. And um, now you got this. And I got all these people going out of the house. Protesting. So God knows what's going to be happening in the next uh, couple weeks as far as this uh, virus is, con is concerned. But if you got all these people getting together, like I said the most high is going to take out who he wants to take out. But now you know, like I said it's it's going it's going to be it's going to be some a lot of death coming real soon. Now right here, Ecclesiastes one nine and ten. All things continue the way they have they have been since the beginning. What has happened will happen again. There is nothing new here on earth. So these things just repeat themselves. Cops continuously kill us, they get off. They kill us, more technicalities, they get off. They kill us, you gotta be a good American and tell your, and tell your people that they can't uh, protest and, or they can't get uh, you know, heated or whatever else. You know, because let me, and say things again, repeat themselves. Let me go out and find another black, a black person to put out here in front of these people to try to calm them down. Things happen again. Oh, okay, let me put this black woman from, you know, out here in Atlanta, this mayor out here to calm these people down. That's not going to calm people down. This is going to make it worse. See, these things worked before when it was the times of the Gentiles. It's not going to continue to work because people's are gonna, lives are going to be open. And not only, not only the Hebrews, but also many Gentiles, because many Gentiles, you know, are going to be out there protesting because they're going to realize that they've been lied to. That's all part of the game as well. It's not just us. He said, this is the switching from the head and the tail. So the head and the tail are switching, but all the people in the middle are going to realize that they were following the head of Satan and they're going to be pissed because they're going to realize they've been lied to. Okay. So it says, someone might say, look, this is new, but really it has always been here. It was here before where we were. Exactly. So you guys using the, I'm going to use my, my weapons, I'm going to use my dogs. That's nothing new. You've been doing that. But for people who don't understand the history, 
of the scriptures as well as history, they won't put the they won't put two and two together. Most has got you thinking that you're going to do the same things you did before to our people. So you're going to be able to pull out the guns and the and the uh, and the dogs and destroy us again. So you can have your utopian society and and put us back down at the bottom to continue to drink those dregs. We know exactly what it is that you're looking for. But see, good times Jesus ain't here. The real power of the Most High, the, you know, the real power of the Most High, the power of the chosen people, he's here now. And that's what you're seeing right now. So let me read here how this has already been talked about in the book of Jeremiah. Let's see, Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, So um, as are for death to death, and such are uh, as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to captivity. So everybody has their destinations that are going to be going to. Okay. Yeah, some of us are going to be are going to die. We're you know have died from famine. Some went into slavery. Some were killed by the sword. That's what's happened to our people. Now, I'm going to leave the video where you go. I have a whole video going on into this even more. And I'll put that in the description box. So I'm not going to go into this as much, okay? But look at three. This is what, this is what your boy Trump t uh, tweeted. This is what the uh, nations in the world, this is what their president tweeted, which is exactly goes with Jeremiah 15 and 3. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord. The sword to slay. There's his crazy weapons that he's talking about. And the dogs to tear. He's going to use the dogs on us. That's like they used before when they first got here. Okay. And uh, the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. They're going to use their weapons and these beasts, these dogs, to destroy us in order for them to get their utopian society back. And that's what he was talking about using yesterday or last night. Using them to, you know, bring all everybody under subjection so they can continue with their society and continue putting us at the bottom. I'm going to read a little bit from the dogs of the conquest because this is the mentality of these people. As soon as they got here, nothing has changed. They don't care about our lives. Their dogs are more important. Let me read this part just real quick here. Um, let's see here. This is from dogs of the conquest. Las Casas commented, the Indians had been treated like dogs. For though the Spaniards did not hesitate to kill 10 or 20 Indians, merely as a pastime, either to test their skill with knives or the cutting edge of their swords, they would not kill a dog for a thousand Castellanos. Has it not been like that with our people? Have they not cared about how many of us that they kill? Just, you know, that was just... You know, the one that we just saw, I say, hey, we see this one because it was on videotape. How many of them have they, how many of our people have been killing, you know, before for the last 500 years? Hundreds of millions, if not more. That's why they can, they could hide all this history before. They have, most how we make people write books, you know, to bring these things out at the end. But they have no regard for our lives whatsoever. They treated us worse than an animal. Just like we just watched how they killed Floyd in the middle of the day, just like worse than an animal, knee on his neck for eight to nine minutes, watched him die, watched him urinate on himself, on himself, and they could care less. And they'll just look for, you know, some more technicalities to get their people off, like they always do. Nothing new under the sun. Bottom part right here. Uh, let's see here. The priest described how the Christians used natives as beasts of burden loading them with uh, heavy packs and forcing them to march 60 or 70 leagues without food. The Christians brought along large mastiffs to discourage escape so that the dogs might not bruise their feet. Uh, from too much walking, they were borne on hammocks between the shoulders of the Indians. If an Indian fled, a dog would catch him and tear out his entrails before uh, the Christians overtook him. For these and similar reasons, dogs were held in greater esteem and valued more highly than the Indians. And we know the Indians were our people, the natives. 
the Aborigines. Nothing new under the sun. They have no they have no regard for our lives whatsoever. Nothing has changed. So this has been going on for hundreds of years. So as a, you know, it's not all about Minnesota. This is these are things that have been culminating for a very long time. And now the Most High is putting spirits on people to move in a protest. They have nothing to go back home to. You hear what you're saying? We want them to, you know, not to protest and go back home. Go home to what? No jobs, no food, no future. Just to go home to uh, to sit there and hopefully not die. So, like I said, nothing new under the sun. Trump is referring to these actions, and these actions were taken uh, against our people in the 1400s and have been used again and again and again because this was a blessing the weapons and these animals to destroy us was the blessing for these people for a very long time except they still think that they got the blessing they haven't got the memo yet the most high is not down with them anymore and you people who have been aligned with these people you know i said you're going to get punishment punished just as well Again, this is the picture that's going to make white people say these cops have gone too far because dogs are worth more than the Hebrews. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.